That that's shit. what I'm not Meek. Meek is Meek. Matter of fact, you, you the 2024 version of Meek. Uh, I'm trying to think of it like a Spanish name so I could mix it with Meek Mills, Heek Mills, <laughs> Speak Mills. <laughs> we got Aunt Mills in the building. Okay, Aunt Millie from the two one Philly. How you? Uh, matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you, hold on. Yo, intro, yeah, you, intro, yeah, I'm drawn with the intro. Welcome back to another episode of Never Famous Podcast. We got Adi in the building. Yo, that's me. We got we got your boy Ant in the building, and we got some some unexpected guests. They just come knocking on the door and asking for shit. You know when you when you leave something over and shit, and them niggas come pick it up and shit. You like yeah, unexpected guests. Shout out, we got Corey in the building substituting my man Chris. Last week I was confusing both of their names and shit. You spoke. That's funny. We spoke both of them up. You spoke up Corey and I spoke up Ron. <laughs> and I actually seen Ron. We was picking up our kids. You know, doing our father's due diligence and shit. We was picking up our kids from school and shit. And I seen it. We start rapping. I'm looking at him. He looking at me and shit. We just like, you know, when when when, when it's when it. <laughs> It was it was a little fiery just because I'm saying like I missed him. That's all, bro. Because like, <laughs> no, but look, that's why I knew I knew I knew niggas was gonna be like that. Listen, I ain't seen my man in a minute. You feel me? That's all. I ain't seen him in a minute. And shit, we dabbed up and shit. We started rapping and saying he here. He came to visit us real quick and shit. Came show some love. He said he's not doing the pod though. He said he don't fuck with y'all. He said stop asking him to come back. Yeah, but it's cool though. As long as he here, good spirits and shit like that. You know what I'm saying. He look happy. You know, when you left a dog out, when you leave a dog out outside, they just running around in circles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, you know, but what's up with you? How you been, bro? I'm great. Uh, please please drop a like and subscribe. If y'all want us to keep dropping episodes, y'all want some more content from us, please <laughs> drop a comment, like, subscribe, and all that. Um, yeah, I'm good. Happy to be back. How your weekend been, bro? I ain't seen you. Like, you acting like I seen it, you. Yeah, like, it been like... Uh, well, Shouldn't show you. I've been chilling. I ain't been doing much same work. Shit, same yeah, shit. yeah. Nothing, nothing like eventful that I just talk about on the pod. Shit. I don't. I don't yeah, that's, that's true. Shit. I was. I was trying to think of shit. I was saying I did differently out of the ordinary, but I really be doing the same shit all the time. Uh, yeah, I, I ain't mean to discourage you and shit. What I you just mean? did to from you from talking about your week. I just, oh no, no, I'm used to that shit. I used to tell y'all niggas how y'all been, and then we just go to the topics and shit like that. Yeah, because once you went on the watch back, they, they don't give a fuck about that part. Unless it's like an eventful part. Yeah. No, nah, but I feel like you ever you never pass by like when your parents watching soap operas, and then you kind of know what's going on because you passed by the same time last week. Yeah. You feel me? So you kind of have a sense, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? They probably want to catch up with your boys. That's all. Yeah, they did that probably last Probably did week. something. something matter of fact, I did something crazy. I bought a gaming PC. Trying to become a streamer, see how this shit work out, and I'm um, trying to change my career path. That's all. <laughs> what you gonna stream? Shit, myself. <laughs> <laughs> so now I don't really don't know what games yet, but I just want to. I feel like I just want to bring it like a comedian aspect to it. Even though I'm not comedian, but I just feel like comedic. more more comedic stuff. You feel me? So. Damn, you know I, I've been thinking about that. Uh, do you feel like the game that gaming streaming is still popping? Because I feel like most of the times that I see crazy clips or crazy stuff, it's really it's more like uh, IRLs, like the in real life joints. It's not uh, really streaming anymore. I mean, like, yeah, I get what you're saying because like nothing gonna be the COVID days. You feel me? When COVID was out, you know, everything everybody was wanted, inflated. Yeah, everything, everything. Everybody wanted to stream, and everybody that was streaming was doing big numbers. But I just feel like when you're on game chat. That party chat is crazy, bro. I don't care what nobody say. That's the most funniest chat ever. Everybody be on there having fun, vibing, playing the game. And you you normally be playing the game, but you also talking shit that ain't got nothing to do with the game. So it's like potting, but playing the game. So that's how I see it. That's what's something I want to do, too. So you think it's still lean like that? You can still take advantage of it? Still, yeah, 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 still for things sure. to do there at work. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Different, uh, <laughs> just different avenues you could tap into, you feel me? I feel like I'm, I don't see nobody doing it. But it might be somebody out there doing what I want to do. But, shit, we're going to find out. You're going to do it better. Be yeah. into the punch. All right. Let's get let's get into the uh, couple of stories of the of this week. Yeah, it's been an epic week. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we should start this episode with, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, Rich Homie Quan. That's a, that's a sad joint right there. Cause I feel like he got he had a lot of a lot of joints growing up. Like we was in like high school, middle nah, school. Bro, I'm, I'm a, let's be real, bro. He had, he had that one mixtape slash album. 
that, like, I'm me personally, like, I was bumping every day. Wake up in the morning, go to uh, trade school. I was going to trade school for HVAC at the time. I went to trade school every morning, listening to his music. Every night, again, after work, out of work, listening to his music. What was it? Uh, I'm trying to think of songs and shit. He had a, he had a few joints. Yeah, um, but, like, everything, that whole album was a hit. And then the thing is, too, like, after he had that little squabble with Young Thug, a lot of people started messing with him. Saying he was ratting or whatever the case may be, but I was still keeping up with him. That, that's recent though that, that they found out that he was ratting, or that like he might allegedly, have allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I was watching that last night. I was uh, they were talking about it. Um, what's what's the my man from Boston, the white boy that he be uh, 1090 Jake that he be breaking down all the um, all the snitching stuff. Oh no, no, I ain't. I don't even. Oh uh, yeah, I was watching him uh, yesterday. And he was he was saying that he played the video of of Quan talking about it. He was like, oh, uh, Quan said that Thug did it, like, but he can't prove it. Type shit. And he was talking to to the cops when he said that shit. So you gotta figure like that's uh, that's snitching. Yeah. You said yeah, he did it. I just can't prove it. That's snitching, bro. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's why he fell off. But he fell off because of the beef with with Thug. But yeah. it wasn't because of the snitching part of it. Nah, but uh, I also seen like people like posting on his music and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I feel like when, when situations like that. You just be like, damn, not him. And then you just start reminiscing times you, you had. Instead of, like, people just being like, oh, they that's fake love. I'm not saying it's not fake love. There's probably a lot of people just doing that shit just to get likes and views and shit. Mentioning him now. But there's probably a lot of people that be like, damn, he he, he checked. Let me go listen to his music and shit. Because I, I remember he used to be tough. Like, when Kobe died, I'm pretty sure people started watching his highlights and shit like that. And that shit started going up. Yeah. That's a fact, I, but I mean that happens with every artist. But I think it's just <clears throat> more also. Why I also wanted to talk about it more, apart from it just being like a trending topic, is the fact that like that's like the fourth or fifth artist from this era that's that don't pass. Nah, it's, by a different it, reasons. Yeah, too. it's scary times. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, Definitely. I mean, yeah, a lot of people passing, but it just they, I think it's a little more magnified, obviously, because they famous. But then it's like we got moments with that with their music, like. The the lifestyle flex walk through all them uh, 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 when I walk through mm-hmm. he had a, he had a few we was, I was bumping that last bro, night I remember like bro playlist. I had a, a Hondo Core a Gold John recently put music in it a little system in it that's the album I was bumping to yeah every day every day but rest in peace rich home rich home man we're keeping it hip hop um we go uh, Kendrick uh, got announced he, he performing at the Super Bowl. Next year, 2025 in New Orleans. Listen, I'm team, I'm team Drake, but you got to give it to Kendrick, bro. He's doing his thing, and I know Drake going to be hot when they play this song. All right, but when you say he's doing his thing, if you really think about it, he only put out three songs this year, and it was all dissing Drake. And his last album, he, like, it was good. I'm not saying it wasn't, but it's not, like, it didn't have no major hits. Like, we got to keep it a being. Like, he, he owed a boy some money. Like, he he, he coming up a crazy-ass run right now off of, off of beefing with Drake. Yeah. And he made it, like, obviously Kendrick is very talented. He made the hit. He the one that did it. But, come on, bro. This shit is crazy. No, nah, I fuck with Kendrick, too. I used to always say Kendrick, I mean, Drake won. Well, I always say Weezy won, Drake two, Kendrick three. Like, that was my, like, and right, as of right now. Like, you yeah. feel me? But we got to call it what it is, bro. Like, Kendrick doing his thing. Like, even though he dropped three. He be fucking with family matters. Yeah, no, no, the hit is the hit. The uh, the the Kendrick uh, like that, they, they, not like us, not, not like us. Yeah, it, it's the hit is a hit. I guess that's undeniable. I think that's the only that's the only real thing that really won him that because when they was going song for song, if if that song wouldn't have been a hit, then family matters would have got him out of there. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with you Euphoria more than uh, they not like us. Me I personally, I don't really go back to it. You don't go back to it? Yeah, not not that much. Nah, I was listening to that shit yesterday. Man. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit, that shit tough. There's a lot of bar. Well, you know what's one thing that I feel like that about is the hard part six. Uh, uh, Drake, damn, he said, hey, my boy stunk up the whole room with that shit. Uh, the hard part six, <laughs> my fault. That shit was crazy. I had to acknowledge that. Um, Gas. <laughs> <laughs> Gas alert. <laughs> shit. But yeah, that that when you go back to that, he uh, he cooked on that one, but it, it's just not like crazy replay value like that. 